Welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to take a look at how the voltmeter and the current meter affect the circuit when we have a large load resistor and now we're going to measure the voltage across on that uh, large load resistor and we're going to see how that affects the circuit. Now, just like we did before, I'm going to first disconnect the voltmeter across the, the, the load resistor. That's hard to pronounce sometimes. And just as in the previous video, we're going to measure the voltage across the battery and we're going to measure the current inside the circuit. And the way we did that was realizing since we have such a large load resistor, the internal resistance of the, um, of the battery was insignificant. And since we can look at the parallel circuit here and realize that the parallel resistance here is in essence still one ohm because a large resistor in parallel to a small resistor like this, in essence the parallel resistance will be virtually the same as the small resistance. So here you can see that the total resistance in the circuit is the 10,000 ohms of the load resistor and the very small internal resistance of the battery which in essence is equal to the load resistance and then if we take the voltage, the EMF, 5 volts divided by 10,000 ohms, we got 0.5 milliamps of current to the circuit. So all that was fine, we could see that the current meter virtually had no effect on the circuit and we saw that the voltmeter had no effect on the circuit as well. But now what happens when we connect the voltmeter to this large load resistor? Now you see there will be a significant effect because what happens now is you can see that the current here is going to be very different. What happens? The current of the circuit comes down here and gets to the branch <coughs> and it's going to split up into these two directions. Part of the current is going to go through the load resistor and part of the current is going to go through the voltmeter. And a significant amount of current will go through the voltmeter because the, the resistance of the voltmeter is somewhat the same as the resistance of the load resistor. It's only twice as much. It should be way more than twice as much, so there's going to be a large effect. How do we figure that out? Well, first let's find the equivalent resistance of this branch right here. So the equivalent resistance of that branch is going to be the product of the sum it's going to be the resistance of the voltmeter times the resistance of the load resistor and so divided by R sub V plus R sub L. So here we're using the product of the sum method to find the equivalent uh, resistance of the branch, the parallel branch. So this is going to be 20,000 ohms times 10,000 ohms, Oop, not 10 ohms but 10,000 ohms, missing a few zeros here, divided by the sum. 20,000 ohms plus 10,000 ohms. So it's going to be, yeah, let's see here, 200 divided by 30, that's going to be 6,667 ohms for the parallel circuit. Wow, that changes the circuit a lot. In essence, we have a low resistor of 10,000 ohms, but when you attach a voltmeter to it, it will act as if it's only a resistance of 6,667 ohms which means that the current to the circuit is going to be affected by that. I is going to be V divided by the total resistance. So in this case, the voltage will be the voltage of the battery, which is 5 volts. Remember, since this is such a large resistor, even when they're in parallel like that, the internal resistance is going to be insignificant. We don't need to add that. So this is simply going to be 5 volts divided by 6,667 ohms, which is equal to 0 0.75 milliamps. Wow, notice before we attach this voltmeter, the current to the circuit was 0.5 milliamps. After we attach the voltmeter, the current in the circuit is now 0.75 milliamps. And that is what would be measured here on the current meter, which means you get a very wrong and different reading. Wow, so what that means is if you want to know the current in the circuit, don't yet attach the voltmeter. First measure the current and then measure the voltage separately, or you're going to get a very wrong reading when you do both at the same time. Now, how does the voltmeter measure the voltage here? Well, it does that by detecting the current to the voltmeter and then multiplying that current times the 20,000 ohms to get the voltage drop across the load resistor because branches in parallel have the same voltage across them. All right, how much of this current will then split up? Notice that the current now, instead of 0.5 milliamps, has now become 0.75 milliamps. So we have 0.75 milliamps of current coming through the circuit after we attach the voltmeter over here, and that's not going to split up between the current going to the voltmeter and the current going to the load resistor. Well, since the voltmeter has twice the resistance of the load resistor, it should only have half the current. That means that 
A third of this 0.25 milliampere current will go through the voltmeter and 0.50 milliampere current will go through the load resistor. Notice that together the two currents add up to the 0.75 milliamps. Again, notice, oh, I just lost my cap. Uh, notice that the low resistor is half the resistance of the voltmeter, therefore it should carry twice as much current, which is exactly what we have. So now, how does the voltmeter measure the voltage? It says, well, the voltmeter will say, I measure the current and I multiply times the resistance. And so the current that it measures is 0.25 milliamps. And the resistance internal to itself is 20,000 ohms. And when you multiply that out, you get 5 volts. So that's how the voltmeter does get and does measure the correct voltage. However, when you're doing that, the current of the circuit will be skewed and you'll not see the correct current on the current meter at that time. So if you want both accurate measurements, measure the voltage independently, get the correct voltage, then disconnect the voltmeter and get the current independently and then you'll get the right values in both cases. And that's how we do that.